Hello everyone, how is going? It's Ak and welcome to Pre-Stock Through 4. Or is it 3? I forget. Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about Jungle Cleave and why you should be playing Jungle Cleave. Let me quickly get rid of this marker. It's created by my macro, my marking macro. You should definitely actually get one of these. Let me quickly show you this uh, at the start of this video, just before we get into actual Jungle Cleave. You want to set your, your markers like this. This is just what I have it to set to, because you can't actually set them in Arena, I'm not sure. So when you're out of Arena, just press this macro. We'll do always what you should do uh, here. Oh god, come on, let me walk, okay. So you put your, you run this thing, you run script set raid target, which is this thing. And you set, you put your name and you put the marker ID. So marker number four here is zero, one, two, three, four. Skull is zero, by the way, if I'm not mistaken because of how uh, uh, how arrays work, you know, in programming, when you have an array, which is a list of things, the zeroth element of the array is actually the first one. So yeah, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? So yeah, that's just a quick macro there, but hey, we're going to be talking about Jungle Cleave. So, a Jungle Cleave is a 3v3 arena composition, and the first thing we actually need to say is, of course, what is Jungle Cleave? You know, what what members are there in Jungle Cleave? So in Jungle Cleave, we have a Hunter, a Feral Druid, and you. Preferably a Discipline Priest. This is a really good, because there aren't many comps nowadays that actually do prefer uh, a Jungle... Uh, sorry, that actually prefer a Priest. Do, do any of these actually look good? Yeah, here, here's the thing that I was looking for. Cool. Okay. So there aren't actually that many comps that favor a Discipline Priest. Many of these comps nowadays, you know, as you can see, there isn't that many RMPs on the ladder anymore. They're, the ladder is grossly dominated by RMD. Now, this is, of course, for a good reason, because, yeah, droids are kind of strong right now. And it's really nice to see a comp that actually favors a Discipline Priest. So, as you can see from the birthday video, if you haven't seen the birthday video, go ahead and actually watch it. It's, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool. There are some arenas at the end. If you want to skip it, it's like three minutes in. So, Jungle Cleave focuses heavily on bursting your opponent down. You have a Hunter and you have a Feral. They got exceptional burst. If you look at the Swifty videos, Hunters, Beast Mastery, and uh, Survival both have really nice burst. So as do Ferals. Ferals literally have, I think, like 9 seconds or something on their burst. I don't know. Uh, still, this comp focuses really, really heavily on bursting your opponents down, which means you're going to be either winning in the first few minutes, it's going to be... You either win, like, right away, or you win three minutes after the start of the match when your Ferals, Berserk, and Incarnation come back off cooldown. So, a little bit more to the composition right now. Your Feral Druid will have two styles of playing. You either get him to force uh, healer, drink, healer uh, cooldowns like Broccoli, Barrier, Pain Suppression, and such. Uh, or you get him to play more defensive. And wait for the for the healer to naturally pop their cooldowns, you know, and then obliterate him. Uh, for the hunter too, you can go with either survival or hunter. The hunter that I currently play with actually prefers survival, and plays survival most of our games. But when we find ourselves losing quite, you know, a bit too many games, he switches to beast mastery because beast mastery is pretty much superior because of the availability of uh, burst. Uh, survival, you see. I want to definitely spend a bit of time talking about uh, Hunters because, whoa, it's an event. Cool. Uh, so, I want to spend a bit of our Hunters because Hunters are probably the most variable thing to come because Survival and Beast Mastery both are very different in how they play in Jungle Cleave. So for Survival, you're going to be doing a lot of pressure. You're not going to be doing a lot of burst. So to say, you still got exceptional burst. Just go and watch the Swifty burst video. That is, that shows that Hunter's survival or Beast Mastery do actually have exceptional burst. Uh, now, why I would go against marksmanship uh, in the burst video? If you've seen the burst video, you'll see that marksmanship actually does have superior burst to both of these. This is for a simple reason: aim shot has 80% uh, bonus crit chance when your target is above uh, above 80% health which means uh, the first hit that the Hunter got was actually a big beefy crit. And when you're trying to burst someone who's around 50%, you won't get that bonus. And yeah, that's kind of a shame. But yeah, uh, what you want 
is you want either a survival or beast mastery hunter. If you're playing with marksman, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, survival and uh, beast mastery are strongly preferred. Beast mastery, if you want more burst, generally with beast mastery, we do have a pretty high win rate. I think we only lost like one or two as beast mastery. And yeah, any any is okay though. Uh, now I'm going to talk about some pretty specific tips, uh, but first a bit about the arena. Uh, you got some general ways you're going to be opening with. If you're going against any comp with rogue, they're all going to start out in stealth. So what you just want to do is you want your feral and your hunter to just chill in their stealths, and you just want to hug a pillar. You want to hug a pillar, use holy nova and such. Uh, a special uh, shout out though to uh, runes of lordaeron. In runes of lordaeron, while well, one of you goes right, one of you goes left. Uh, drop a flare to the right or left, and you just go to the left or right, you know, the opposite side, and spam Holy Nova, try and reveal someone, try and predict where they're going to be going and Holy Nova there. You can also use Mind Seer on your Feral, but that's a not a good idea, okay? You need to remember that your Mind Seer will be visible, even on invisible targets. It will be exploding around someone, you know, and they will know where your Feral is, so watch out for that, because the Druid can just, I don't know, Typhoon there and reveal him. You know, that that's bad. You don't want to be doing that. But if you feel like you know where they are and your fellow is right next, then go ahead. I don't know. So, yeah, that's the general strategy. You either want to... you Against rogues, sorry. You want to open... You want to wait for either the... For example, if you're playing against RMD or RMP, you want to wait for the mage's invis to drop. And then you just want to open on a mage. You know, forcing them to open. Forcing RMT, RMD into not being able to open, which is a big deal for their comp. You know, their comp also relies as much as your comp on really good openers. So, uh, if you get the opening hand, if you get to open on them, you can definitely score a kill pretty much either instantly or later on. So, a strong opener is going to be a big part of your play. If you don't get a strong opener, if your feral gets revealed, it doesn't matter that much, okay? You can still win the game. There's never, it's never too late, you know, to win a game. So, if you do get uh, an opener, if you're playing against something like TSG or something, you want to get CC off of them. TSG is pretty much your hardest matchup, and you definitely want to get CC off on them. Uh, against TSG, though, you can get very strong openers, but of course, they also get very strong openers if you don't CC them, which will cost you, because TSG will burst you. If you're a healer. So, uh, let's go into some pre-specifics against, like, playing against different comps. I'm just going to go generally around about all of these because I'm still going to make separate videos on, like, how to jungle cleave versus TSG. How to jungle cleave versus god comp, you know, things like this. But first I want to go over the pros and cons of playing jungle cleave. Uh, for you as a healer, of course, as a priest talk through. Oh, shit. So... The main pro is that when your team is bursting like fuck, you don't need to heal that much. You have more time to put out pressure with the spells. You can easily get ahead because you're not really going to get bursted on when their healer is in trouble, you know. They're going to try and peel for their healer. So you can just pop spirit shell, you know, spam with some flash heals. You know, you can, you can get that little bit of leeway. And you have much better glyph choices, actually, in uh, Jungle Cleave. Normally, you would be forced to go, like, Weaken Soul or even Reflective Shield against some comps. Uh, against God Comp, for example, I do actually sometimes take, uh, where is it, Glyph of Dispel Magic, which normally you'd never take, because you just need this third Glyph slot for Weaken Soul or something. Because we know that we're we're going to be able to land a kill early against uh, God Comp, and God Comp does have a Resto Druid, which means pretty much every time he casts a Rejuve, which heals him for, like, 2k or something. I don't know how much it heals per pop. Uh, he also gets hit for 1.3k. Of course, modified a bit by my spell power, but hey. Say so 1.2k damage to that. If you can just... If you're bursting on their healer and you can just spam this spell, that's 1.2k holy damage every global, which is really nice. Of course, smite is 4k divided by... Oh my god, the math. If it was a 1 second cast, it would be 4k DPS. 2 second cast, 2k DPS... Okay, it's around 3k if you were to spam smites, but of course you can get CS because God Comp. So Dispel Magic is a pretty safe bet. You can also Holy Fire and such. Uh, you have to realize that with 
with Godcom, or sorry, with uh, Jungle Cleave, why I recommend it so highly, especially to new priests, is that you have a lot of time to think about other things than healing. Okay? Especially at low ratings. With low ratings, especially, you can think about when to use your fear. For me, my panda racial. I still don't fucking know how to tilt it as an update. You can think about, you know, fear warding effectively, and you can think about when to use your silence, when to grip. You know, you have more time to think about decisions because you're pretty much always going to be ahead. So, I want to emphasize that Jungle Cleave is a really good burst comp, but you also have to realize that there is no comp that is just going to win you everything, okay? Every comp has its little cons. And Jungle Cleave does have big openers, but the also the big thing that you know kills Jungle Cleave is double melee and the training of the healer. Your your team does have a lot of CC, but against comps like TSG, you're pretty screwed as a healer if you don't get a lot of peel. And when Jungle Cleave is forced to play defensive, that's not a good time for you, okay? Because if you rely so heavily on bursting, and not so much about spread pressure and just slowly getting everyone down, well, you're not going to have a good time bursting when your healer is in trouble and needs your help. Against TSG, for example, they got the Death Knight and the Warrior. That alone is three interrupts, not counting. Look at this guy, he's so low. Oh my god, heal you, heal you. here you go. Here you go, buddy. Take a buff. Take a buff on the house, man. Take a buff. Anyway, so TSG, of course, uh, as you'll know, that's Paladin, for those of you who don't, of course, that's Paladin, Death Knight, Warrior. Warrior has Pummel and Stormbolt to interrupt you with. The Death Knight has Grip, he has got Strangulate or Asphyxiate, depending on what he's running with. Then, well, kinda, Remorseless Winter, and Mind Freeze. That is a lot of interrupts. And if they really run out of interrupts, the Paladins still got Rebuke and Fist of Justice. Or Hammer of Justice, depending on what you spec. So that's a lot of CC. That's a lot of CC that you can be killed with. And they are going to focus you. You bet they will focus you. Normally, they would focus your Feral. And that's good for you, because you get a lot of Pillar Juking, predicting fears and shit. But when they're bursting you... As a disc especially, you know, you, you can't do that much about it. You got your arm mastery, which is 5 second interrupt immunity, and that's it, you know? You can't cast really more. You have to be really good at fake casting to fake 5 interrupts, you know? <laughs> that's really hard. And honestly, don't blame yourself too much if you mess up interrupts, uh, getting interrupted uh, against THG, because th that's so many interrupts. Pretty much every time you think you're, you're safe... There's still a way for you to be interrupted, you know? What the fuck am I doing in Blackrock Mountain? Huh. So. Uh, you see, Jungle Cleave does have the cons of the, 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 the healer. They, they do have a lot of peel. You got Freeze Trap, you got Clone and such. But if you get a comp against you like TSG, TSG is actually your hardest matchup. So thing is you you've got incredible weakness to a certain comp it's only one that i've seen so far one that requires a bit of skill to deal with but can still be dealt with and that is the main problem is that jungle cleave is the low cr domination when you're at low cr when you're below like 2k i would say jungle cleave is just the way to go because you win like pretty much 80 90 percent of your matches because that's just how it rolls and you know, jungle cleave is really strong and that's just how you roll with jungle cleave okay you just get the big beefy numbers out, and you just nuke. You can literally kill in the first 20, 30 seconds of a match, and that's insane. So yeah, I, that's just like one pro, one con. Of course, there is a lot of spe you know, a lot of pros to playing it, a lot of cons to playing it. There's just, you know, there is the stuff that you will get and you won't get. But hey, all we need to know right now is a jungle cleave is weak to certain comps and strong to other comps. Strong to most of the comps, though. Thing is, with Jungle Cleave is you can quite easily get pretty outplayed. That's another con. Like, if you're playing against a really good RMP or such, you're gonna have a pretty hard time dealing with them, you know? Because 
when you're playing against a healer who really knows what he's doing, then Jungle Cleave is pretty hard to beat. You know, when I'm playing against Jungle Cleave, when, when we're playing Mirror, uh, I can deal with the opposing Jungle Cleave pretty well because I know what they're going to pull off. I know that they're going to pull off big damage in an opener. So what I, what I see is I see the Feral Burst. I go Power Shield. Okay. I see him getting big-ass numbers. I see him stunning me first, which is a mistake, by the way. For all you Ferals, Burst, start your opener with Shred and not with Rake. Uh, Rake will stun, of course, and make your further stuns DR. So what you want to do is you want to pull off an opener with Shred. You want to start wrecking the face of the healer. He's going to get very, very low. He's going to pop all his cooldowns. He's going to... Resto is going to pop uh, Tree Form. Uh, Palin's going to bubble and stuff like this, you know, just to get more healing out. And then you can pop Incarnation, Berserk, Rake, and they're going to be stunned, you know. And they're going to be stunned with all their cooldowns up, and that's not a good thing. So that's going to force their Trinket. And what your Hunter can then do is then your Hunter can either Interrupting Shot or whatever the fuck it's called, or he can, you know, basically your Hunter can handle the further CC, or you can just Rake again, hey, because that's the thing. And, yeah, so the, fer the Feral starts off with a stun and such, and I see that they're bursting me really hard. I see that I'm at like 80%, 70%. I'm rapidly dropping. So what I do, they're just preemptively PS. Because I know that they're going to be doing a lot of damage right now. They popped all their cooldowns. You know, might as well reduce all their cooldowns by 40%. Hey, feeling generous? Drop a barrier too. That's 65% damage reduction. Flat, right there. It's big. It's really big, yo. You're basically cutting all the damage in half. That's a lot, you know. That is a lot. So then, what you can do is you can pull off the standard, <laughs> the baseline, which I fucking don't know how people can still fall for this. Although, hey, you know, why people fall for it is usually because they're facing all these bad priests that <laughs> that don't pull it off, and they just win with the power of confusion. But, let me actually kill this thing. What? Reflect? Scumbag. Oh my god. Anyway, so let's say this is our pillar, okay? Let's say we go to melee here. This guy's, this guy's our melee, okay? Uh... I, I would tag him, but I'm probably just going to one-shot it. So, hey, you. You're a melee. Come here. Okay, dude. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so what you're doing is you're you're not really slow. You know, you're slowed a bit. You pop your feather. Then you're chasing your sister. You guys. And you run at the other side of the pillar. You see that motherfucker is either beating on your clone or he's going this way. You know? Now this guy, look, he's confused. He can't, he can't reach me. You know? He can't reach me because I ran the opposite direction. You know, the thing is you clo you... Go and pop your your spectral guys, and you just run the other way. Because they're not going to expect that. They're going to expect you to for, to go further on, and you're not going to do that. So that's one really big thing, you know, how to counter Jungle Cleave, really. you also got to be aware of all your stuff. Basically, Jungle Cleave will teach you, and I really like to use this term, because not many comps you can literally say you can go ahead and play with no skill, you can still win, and you can learn something. You, if you're a fresh priest, if you're new to threes, you know, uh, and you've followed my gearing guidelines, I don't know if I put out the gearing video, I think I did. I swear I did. <laughs> so, you do want a few conquest pieces, you know, and when you get that, you want to go into threes, and you, you want to try threes. So, I really suggest getting into Jungle Cleave, because Jungle Cleave, you will have a pretty good win rate, you know, you're going to be winning quite a bunch of matches, but you're still going to be aware of what you could be doing better, what, you could, what you're doing bad, you know. You're still going to be aware of your mistakes, and you can learn from them very easily. You can be like, oh, I actually completely forgot to use Fear Ward this match. And that warrior got a fear off me, and I could have prevented that. I, I need to drink of that thing, you know? And so next game, you can see, oh, look, there's the warrior. Oh, he's charging me. Boom. Wasted. You know? You can do things like this. You can, you can realize what you're doing wrong, and you can fix it. That's a really, really big pro of Jungle Cleave. I would say Jungle Cleave is really good for learning. Uh, other comps that I'd recommend right now, uh, before I end the video off with some matches of Jungle Cleave, which I'm actually going to be over-commentating. Yeah, one of the things you can actually, uh, you can actually do if you're having troubles finding a Feral or a Hunter or, or both, you know. RMP is also a really nice cleave. I've actually been playing RMP when I was playing way back when in Wrath. RMP was just the shit back then. RMP is pretty cool yeah rmp is still decent and you should definitely play it if you want to play it they have uh probably much more defensive play style than jungle cleave but yeah i guess that's life yo so anyway let's get into an arena match 
Okay, so I decided not to tyrannize you with extremely long arenas. So right here you can see, probably like 5 seconds before your arena begins, we are actually going to start a match against Turbo Cleave. I do believe this is Turbo Cleave. Eh, actually no, this is just a Warrior, Hunter, and uh, an Enhanced Shaman. You'll notice our Hunter actually gets flared out right now. I have Bubbles up on everyone, it's the first thing I do. Bubble gets purged off right now. You will notice it by his health not going down when the bubble goes down. And also the bubble going down pretty much instantly. Instantly moving to a better position here. Trying to get bubbles off on everyone. Slowing the shaman through the pillar. There's a fail trap by the hunter. Trapping a fucking snake. What the fuck? Shaman already getting low. Popping spirit link. You can see me silence there. Uh, that was kind of bad. So. The shaman is really, really low. The shaman is attempting to juke our hunter and feral. And he does manage it for a bit, you know, he pops Ascendants, Spirit Walkers, and stuff like that. Pulls off some nice stuns, and actually gets health off. And pulls off a second Spirit Link. That one goes down too, as you can see there. Hunter is, the Shaman, sorry, is still pretty low. And we're still pressuring, we're still going in pressure, pressure, pressure. You'll notice me, I won't, I only cast like one Flash Shield this entire game. I literally just use Shields, Penance, and I even use them offensively. And here you can see... Shaman pretty much going down here. He's just gonna die. I try to smite here. Penance him again to slow him. Gets a capacitor off on us. But we still kill. There we go. Dead. See? So that's the beauty of Jungle Cleave. Anyway, I'm gonna pop to life come of the arena right now. Twos are skirmishes because I really want to try and learn Holy because probably in late expansion it will get better than this. Like it did in Mop in pretty much every expansion. I just, I, I just hope they buff survival. <laughs> They should buff Holy too, because Holy is like really weak right now. Shammy? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm just bubbling you. Okay, Hunter flared me out. Earth Shit, Earth shit nearly flared me too. Trapped his pet. Counter shot. So he can't do shit. Okay, cool. Rear them all back there. Freezing trap. What the fuck did he freeze trap? Storm bolt. A snake. I, I have no idea. A snake from a snake <laughs> trap. Oh, that's my snake. GG. Oh nice. my god, you're getting raped. No, he's not. What? Rape? I've never heard of that. Look. You see his elf? Trinketed. Binding shot. Okay, I'm just gonna fear the hunter. Counter. Kick that. Can't do shit. Roar of sacrifice. <laughs> I just ran into his trap. Counter what the fuck? Shout. Yeah. Storm bolt. The second link down locked. though. Like the second link, so. GG. Earthbind. We just win like every time we're playing against Resto Shamans. Trap Hunter. Knock them all back. Safeguard. Rude war no. Killing uh Shield. killing that. Stun everything. Rallying capacitor. Rallying. Okay, I'm just gonna slow him. Storm bolt. He trapped my pet. Counter. Kick that heal. Yeah, he should be dead. Kill, 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 kill. Nice. Did my snakes kill him? I don't know. But like, he trapped your- that, that hunter trapped your snake. From the stage. <laughs> best. That was probably his best freezing trap he ever did. Okay, Camtasia is also starting to be buggy as shit. So yeah, we're gonna be altering video recording programs all day, every day. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed the priest talk through. What the fuck? Where's my transcendence? Weird. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed a pre-stock through about Jungle Cleave. I only included one arena because, honestly, I don't really think you need to see more to understand what Jungle Cleave is all about. I'm going to be showing you guys more specific videos in pre-stock throughs 5 through 8, I would say. Where I'm going to be doing specifics, you know, Jungle Cleave versus TSG. Jungle Cleave versus Godcom. Jungle Cleave versus RMP, RMP, RMD. You know, all these things. I hope you guys will enjoy it, and yeah, subscribe to be notified when I make a video, and like this video up, it really gives me some motivation, and some motivation to fix my fucking UI, because my chat frame is through the fucking griffins. Ugh. Anyway guys, until next time, I out.